Good evening, beautiful people. In typical fashion for this channel, I got a comment from a friend and he wants to know how I make my captions on my main channel. It's completely, where, where are we going? It's completely gaming related. Here's kind of how they look. They kind of pop on screen, have a little animation. I'm gonna be showing you how to do this today. There are three main ways of doing captions. I'm gonna show you all three in this video. The first one is super simple. It's Premiere Pro's version of auto captions. They do it all for you and it's, it's pretty basic. You can go in and add effects and stuff. And then we have the second way, which is my way of doing things. And and it's so much more complicated. <laughs> There's animations and keyframing and all that kind of stuff, but it looks great when it's finished. And then the third and final way, I'm actually gonna show you how to do it in CapCut, which is a mobile editing app. They have a desktop version as well, if you prefer to use that. CapCut is uh, less professional, I wanna say, and is a little bit janky, but it's so much quicker than using Premiere. So it's just down to which workflow works best for you. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and take you into Premiere and we will go through all three methods. Transition, please. I pressed the wrong button, damn it. Okay, so welcome to Premiere. This is a simple little example clip that I shot before recording this video. If you haven't already seen how you make the audio tracks, um, the, the multiple layers, go and watch the video on it. If you do any kind of video editing for, for short or for long form video, it's a lifesaver. Like a link in the description and a card on screen. So I've just trimmed the front and the back. Let me play this for you so you can see there's no captions or anything uh, pre-built into it. This is a pretend video to show you how captions work. Anyway, back over to you, future me. Does that make sense? Uh, as you can see, super simple. So if you go on to text, if you don't have these windows, by the way, you can open window and open text down here and then that'll open this window. And you wanna go to transcript and then you're gonna transcribe the sequence. Uh, for this, you don't really have to worry about it too much. If you have multiple people speaking on different layers, then select uh, whichever audio layer here that people are talking on. But yeah, we'll just do that for now. And I don't think there's anything here. You can separate speakers. But again, we don't need to do any of that for now. That'll transcribe. In this case, the video is like seven seconds long, not even that, so it'll be very quick. And here are your captions. As you can see, there's nothing on screen. How mysterious. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click the Create Captions button here. Uh, but before that, I'm actually gonna quickly import something. I'm gonna drag this file into here like so. Now, all this is is a uh, a style of caption. I'll show you how to apply that in a second. So if we go Create Captions, this will let you select a bunch of random stuff. Just keep that on, uh, <laughs> just keep that on subtitle. Now here is where things get a little bit juicy. Again, play around with this to your preference, but I like having quite fast captions. So it'll be like one, maybe two words at most, and that will kind of, kind of keep people engaged as you go through the video. So minimum duration in seconds, bring that all the way down and then maximum length in characters. I normally go between 12 and 18, but for the purposes of this video, we'll go to 15. Select style. If you've already got one made, I'll show you how to make one in a bit. And then you're gonna go minimal yellow, which is the, uh, the, the type of caption I use. And then I prefer single lines. Again, play around with all this, entirely your preference. Uh, this is just what I found works best for engagement and things like that. So create captions, that will go ahead and do everything for you. And boom, within seconds, you have a very, very simple caption ready to go. This is a pretend video to show you how captions work. Anyway, back over to you, future me. Does that make sense? Okay, so as you can see, uh, the captions are there and working, but there are a couple of typos. Where is it? Uh, this is a pretend video to show you how captions work. Anyway, back over to you, future me. Okay, so that says feature. All you wanna do if there's a mistake like this in the text selection, go over here and you just go future me, boom. That's it, all fixed. Okay, so generally I will use all of those type of captions, the quick, easily generated ones, and I'll put those in the middle of my video. But for the intro and the outro, I actually make custom made text, like word by word, so that I can have more flexibility over animating and things like that. So that is what I'm gonna show you in this bit. It's a little bit long-winded, but trust me, if you're looking for the best possible captions, this is how you do it. Okay, so this, again, it may get a little bit intricate, but uh, just bear with me and I will show you how to do it. I've already recorded this once, by the way, and I didn't explain it very well, so I'm gonna try and make it as simple as possible. You're gonna to wanna to go in and manually add your text. So in this case, for the first couple of words, I say, this is a pretend video. This is a pretend video. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by saying, this is a pretend video. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and change. You'll notice that I use a different type of text in my uh, in my subtitles and things like that. So let's go ahead and change this to Bada Boom BB, which is a similar text to what like Mr. Beast uses. It's quite engaging and fun, which is the, the feel for the video. We're gonna center everything, make any changes 
that we want in terms of the text. So uh, for me, I've gotten into the habit of using a linear gradient. So it slightly fades to gray as you go through the video. Add in a stroke, 10 should be fine. Okay, so that's just gonna pop on screen. There's no animation whatsoever, it's just Boom, it's there. And now let's start animating. For this, what you're gonna to wanna to do is start using the transform effect. And there's a very good reason for this. You can actually add a kind of motion blur to the text, which makes it so much nicer. First things first, at the very first keyframe, we're gonna add a scale and then go ahead, three keyframes, one, two, three. Let's have a zoom in so you can see what we're doing over here. And then we're gonna add another keyframe then go ahead three more one two three like so and again play around with this to your preference but that this is just what i found works for me and now we're going to change the scale of these keyframes the first one we're going to set at one and there's a reason for why we're not choosing zero but don't worry about that i'll talk about it in a minute first keyframe is scale one. Second keyframe is going to be scale 120 so it's larger than what you expect it to be and then the third keyframe is 100 so it's going to pop out be a little bit too big and then just close in now what you're going to do is you're going to highlight all three of these and you're going to go to auto bezier which gives it a little bit more of a smoother animation like a speed ramp kind of thing as it goes through so if you want to add a bit more of a speed ramp you can change the velocity by clicking over here and then you can just drag these little thingy majiggies however you like but for now i'm just going to leave it nice and simple as it was when i added the effect then finally, if you scroll down, again, we're doing this all in the transform option, you will see shutter angle. And if you turn this all the way to 360, that will actually add a motion blur, like so. But what you'll notice is that it comes from the middle of the screen, right? We don't want that. We want it coming from the middle of the text. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit distracting. In vector motion, what you're going to want to do is bring this up to the center of the screen, like that. And what that is going to do is basically align the text with the keyframe. And then in transform, what we're going to do is just bring this back down to where we want it to go. So now, rather than coming from the middle of the screen, it's coming from the middle of the text, like so. See how it pops out from the text rather than the middle of the screen? It just looks a little bit prettier. And finally, remember when I said that you want to have this at scale number one? The reason for that is because the transform shutter angle thing, it's a little bit weird, right? So if you put that to zero, so it's coming from nowhere, it randomly just appears. It's strange. So make sure that very first keyframe is scale number one. And there we have it. We've got our pop-in animation and it's a little bit quick for the sake of this video. So let's just grab these, space it out a tiny bit and you'll be able to see the animation in its full glory. It's a little bit long for like a normal videos, but we'll run with it for now. Okay, so now what I do is I add in a kind of motion to the text. I can't remember where I got this exact preset from, but if you Google Deadpool, camera shake or something along those lines in Google, you'll be able to find a preset file that does exactly the same thing. And all this preset does is it just makes the screen move around a little bit. So if we go here and I put it on this video, you'll be able to see that the actual video itself just kind of bubbles about, right? So rather than putting it on the video, we're gonna put it on the text. So the text will pop in and then it will just have a little bubble, a little bit of motion, right? So that is pretty much it. Now I would go in and change the scale for every single phrase that I say, but that's completely up to you. This is more than enough for now. I think most people aren't gonna pay that much attention to every single animation that you make, which annoys me, uh, but that's just the way it works. So bear in mind, this is literally just for the first phrase that I say. Now let's go ahead and add it to the others. And it's as simple as copying and pasting and changing the text. Okay, so that is where that caption ends. And now we're gonna copy that paste it done so now we've got two different animations like so now all you're going to want to do is listen to what you say to show you how captions work to show you how captions work and then what we're going to do is go in here go to text and just change the text simple as that to show you how captions work and there we go that is pretty much done if the uh, text is a little bit too big you can just go ahead and change the the size of the font and it will still keep that center animation which is nice and simple and then you're just going to go through and do this for the rest of your video so again if you're going to carry on all you want to do is just paste that go over to this text change what it is to whatever you're saying in the video 
and then just keep doing that again and again. All right, so that's pretty much it. I feel like you wanted my guide on how to do it. Um, I know it's a little bit extra, but I feel like the, the little details you put in, like smoothing the animations, the, the pop-in, scaling things down, the, the motion in the text, like all of that just kind of adds to the quality that you're providing. Particularly if you're editing for a customer or a client that is paying you for your work, you want to be able to offer a service that nobody else is really willing to do. Just go with that extra mile. And it's something so minute, but it's things like that people pay attention to when they're hiring you to do a job. Anyway, now let me show you the cheapest and easiest way of doing it in CapCut. Okay, so now I'm in CapCut and I'm actually going to show you how to do this on any mobile device. This is for iOS, Android, you name it. All you're going to want to do is press the text option and then go into auto captions like so. And then you can go ahead and pretty much make any basic transition that you want to go and create. If you scroll to the very end, there's this one here that I kind of enjoy using. And I think that's pretty much all you have to do with CapCut. So just press start. And within a couple of seconds, just like Premiere, you'll get automatically created captions. This is a test clip to show you how to add captions while using CapCut. Looks pretty good, right? Now, once again, we can go and we can edit the style. So we can go ahead and make that like that, make the text a little bit bigger. Keep that in the center, please. Thank you. And there doesn't really seem to be a way to change how many words are on screen at a time, like with Premiere Pro, you can choose that. But either way, with the changes that you've automatically done, you know, style and everything else in a couple of seconds, it works, but it's just not as flexible as Premiere Pro, but it's a lot quicker. That probably took me, I don't know, a minute while recording another video. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that I have time for today. I hope this helps. I hope it kind of gives you a little bit of an insight as to how I do things. Any more questions, leave them in the comments or throw me a DM. I'm always happy to help. I also think this is the first video that I've edited <laughs> on this channel rather than just a one take thing. Uh, so let me know if you like the style and maybe I'll do some more vlogs and stuff in the future and guide you through the process. I love your faces. Thanks so much for watching. You're amazing before and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.